keeps Shea with own health and strength. So today we are going to work on rotational strength for your abs. Um, you're definitely going to feel it other places, but we're going to do plank with hip drop. Uh, so I'm going to show you straight on first and then I'll show you from the side. Um, getting set up into it, you can do these on your knees or on your toes. So I'm going to show you on my toes from this angle and then I'll show you both from the other side. Getting set up, you're going to get set up kind of like you're doing a push up. So hands are going to start out directly under your shoulders, fingers super, super widespread, elbows rotated forward so your elbow creases point forward. Um, or, you know, the flowers in your elbows if you're like me. So, nice, solid plank position. Feet are going to be a little bit wider than a normal plank, so eh, about hip width apart. Um, pushing everything away from the ground. So heels are pushing back, shoulders are pushing out of uh, socket and like up towards the ceiling. You're going to take a big breath in, drop both of your heels over to the left, <sighs> exhale out. Inhale to the right side, <sighs> exhale out. So it's just kind of like a little butt wiggle, honestly. Um, sometimes in uh, like yoga practices and things like that, they have you go all the way down. Um, those are a thing, but it's not what I'm describing today. So think about just having like a tiny little hip rotation. So I promised variations from the side. Um, shoulders directly over hands, fingers widespread. But if you're going to do it on your hips, think about uh, engaging your abs, really tucking your butt under so you feel that already. And then you're just going to lift one knee off the ground and then other knee. So you're keeping your upper body in the same position and just creating a little rotation from the lower body. Full length ones, heels pushing back, hips wiggle over, exhale to the center, hips wiggle over, exhale to the center. So. Rotational strength is going to help with being stable and running. It's going to help if you're playing a sport that involves cutting. It's going to make that a lot easier. If you perform things dancing, super uh, reliant on rotational strength. If you want to like do all the super cool stuff, not a dancer, but I'm jealous of them. Um, martial arts also, if you have to like roll a body off of you or something like that. So super important to have rotational strength because you're going to rotate in life. So you might as well be strong for it, right? Helps with injury prevention and it does involve getting obliques. So, you know, building muscle is always a good thing. Um, I hope these are beneficial to you and let me know if you have questions and I'll see you soon. Bye.